So what's your pitching philosophy? What got you so far? Uh, you know what? Kind of like kind of like Dan said, I've, been, I've always been a pitcher that's gone after hitters. Um, I'm very aggressive. I challenge hitters. You know, I try and throw my best stuff up there all the time. And, uh, you know, over the years, I've just been successful with that. You know, I try not to nitpick too much. Um, I'm a guy who's going to challenge hitters. And, uh, you know, so far, it's worked pretty well for me. Now, do you uh, throw to your strengths or a matter of weakness? Um, I've always been taught to throw to my strengths. Uh, you know, if I execute my pitches, if I throw my pitches as well as I can throw them, um, I think I'm going to win every time. You know, I mean, a, a good hitter is only getting on base three out of ten times. So if I can execute my pitches, I, I think I have the uh, the better hand every time that I'm on the mound. Now, the first round draft picks, sometimes in the organization, they're getting passed up by guys in the later rounds. Why does that happen? Uh, well, you know, the, the, the way it was explained to me is, is guys get drafted high, uh, high in the draft because they have a combination of tools and numbers. You know, they, they, they have uh, developed early or just been able to use what they've been given um, and produce good results from an early, from early age. You know, guys who get drafted in the later rounds um, may have the tools but haven't been able to put it together and pitch as efficiently as the guys uh, who are the higher draft picks. But as you get into pro ball, you get some good... Um, coaches and instructors learn some new things, and the guys with the good stuff who were taken a little bit later in the draft finally kind of catch up and, and can surpass the, the guys who were uh, drafted higher than them in the draft. Now, in spring training, everybody's bringing in more guys to compete with you. How do you approach that? You know what? I've, I've learned that all you can control is, is, is what you can control. I mean, it doesn't matter how many people are being brought into camp. You know, all I can control hey, is what I do in the offseason, how I get ready for camp, and uh, ultimately what I do with the ball when I'm on the mound. So they can bring in as many pitchers as, as possible, but if I know if I do my job to the best of my ability, that's all that I can control. How about the umpires? How do you handle the umpires? You know, someone once told me that an umpire is like a cop. So you just, you, you know they're there, and you kind of got to uh, you gotta abide by their rules, but, you know, that's kind of it. I don't give them too much attention. If I get a call that doesn't quite go my way, you know, I try and ignore it as much as possible, um, you know, as long as it doesn't keep happening. But, you know, they're there. They're there to uh, enforce the rules as they see them. So you just kind of got to deal with it. What would you tell a high school kid about professional baseball? You learned the hard way that nobody told you. About. You know what? I, I, love, I love being able to come to the field every day. You know, I, uh, I wouldn't be doing this if this wasn't what I'd love to do. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun. Sometimes, you know, when it gets real hot outside or when there aren't that many people in the stands coming up to the minor leagues, it gets a little bit frustrating. But uh, at the end of the day, if you're doing well and you're doing what you love, I mean, it's, it's great to come out here every day. Anything else about baseball I didn't ask you about that you want to tell somebody? Not really. You know, it's it's uh, uh, a lot better than you see on TV when you finally get there. That, that's what it is. You know, when I made my major league debut uh, with the Yankees last year, it was, you know, beyond anything I could have ever, ever imagined. You know, I had this picture in my head of what, of what it would be like. And when I finally got there and walked into the clubhouse and walked out on the field, it was, it was beyond what I had imagined. So it was awesome.